I'm going to show you how to play that great Eddie Cochran song, Something Else. I'm going to show you how to play it in the key of D, which is the key that Eddie himself played it in. The song is based around three chords, and those are D, G, and A. But it's not played with open chords like that. It's played up the neck, mostly on the three bass strings, the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, like this. There are four verses, and each verse is the same as each of the other verses, and each verse and the whole song starts off like this. Okay, here's how to play that. We begin with a walk-up lick. You put your first finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, that's an A. Then put your third finger on the seventh fret of the sixth string. That's a B. Then we move over onto the fifth string and play a note on the fourth fret with your first finger. That's a C sharp or a D flat. When I do that, I allow my first finger to touch the sixth string and mute it to stop it ringing out. That means I can play that walk up lick without worrying about being very precise. I'm just hammering down. And that'll come in handy when we come to this bit. But back to the walk up. The timing is like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and okay? And then we have this. You play a D power chord. So you put your first finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string and then put your third finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string. You'll be playing those two notes together, and again, muting the sixth string with your first finger, so that you can just strum up and down, and just hit those two strings, the fifth and the fourth strings. I'm allowing my uh, third finger to mute the third string as well. You'll probably find that your finger does that quite naturally anyway. So we move that shape from the 5th and the 7th frets down 1 fret to the 4th and the 6th frets, like that. So we go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and... Here it is slowly. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and... Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? Then we have... Another walk-up lick, just like before, and we have a shorter version of that uh, D power chord lick. One and two and three and four and... I'll just say a few words here about whether you want to play this stuff using down and up strokes of your pick or all down strokes. What I've been showing you is this. Down strokes for that bit and then... Up and down strokes for that bit. You could play the whole thing with downstrokes, like this. Now, there's no film footage of Eddie Cochran playing this song actually live. There is a bit of film of him miming along to his record on a television programme, where he plays it like this. All up and down strokes. I suspect that Eddie Cochran used up and down strokes when he was playing live, as he did in the programme where he was miming. Although on the record, on the original record, what you can hear mostly is electric bass guitar. You can't actually hear that much of Eddie's guitar. Here it is all together, played slowly, with a count in, so you can have a go at playing along with me. One and two and three and four and one. And then we have 
this. And that's where the singing starts in each of the verses. Here she comes. We have an A chord, and you play that by barring across all six strings on the fifth fret with your first finger, and then you make an E shape after the bar with your other three fingers. The timing of that chord goes like this. One, two, three, four, and one, down, down, it starts with an upstrum on the AND after beat 1 and ends with an upstrum after beat 4. Here it is with a counting so you can have a go at playing along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And then we have these stabs on a D chord on beats 2 and 3 in the next two bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. You could play those by playing the same uh, D power chord that we've been playing so far on the 5th and 4th strings. But I like to play a slightly bigger chord. So I have my 1st finger there on the 5th fret again of the 5th string, muting the 6th string, and then I bar across the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings with my 3rd finger. So I'm playing the middle 4 strings if you like, and I'm allowing my third finger to mute that high E string. So we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then we have that walk up lick again. And then we have the rest of the verse, which is played using the Chuck Berry style riff that I teach in my tutorial number two, this one. That's a really useful riff and Eddie Cochran used it a lot on various different songs. So if you want to learn how to do that, go to my tutorial number two. There's a link down in the video description. We use that riff to play four bars of a D chord. One, two, three, four. Two bars of an A. One, two, two bars of a G. One, two, one bar of A. One bar of G. We have some stabs on a D chord like that. So the rest of the verse goes like this. which is the same as the intro in those bits in between the verses. Eddie Cochran's record fades out, so you've got to decide how many of those riffs, licks, you want to play at the end of the song. I play about four and then I slide down from the D power chord. So there you have it. I hope that was useful. Let me know if you have any queries in the comments. What's all this? Something else.